Thank you for joining me for this high intensity interval training session. Today we have eight exercises. We're going to work for 45 seconds and 15 seconds for the next exercise. We're going to do it a little bit different here. We're going to work exercise one and two, two times, changing by exercise one and two, twice, moving on for exercise three and four, twice, and so on until we have done the two first round as a superset for the eight exercises. Have a little bit of a water break and then we're going to hit exercise one, two, eight, one single round, just smashing it hard, ending this up. We're going to start out with a short warm up and uh, this session is approximately 30 minutes. So uh, just bring your exercise mat, some water and uh, a good mood. That's always uh, a good thing to start out with, putting your mind into the hard work, but do at the same time, remember, we're not going to work for that long time. Maybe you want to combine this session with some of the other session here on my channel, a glute workout session, some strengthening focused exercises. But if you are able, when you've been doing this session, if you are able to do another high intensity interval training session, you have not been working this session hard enough. So uh, let's get ready, get some space around you. And uh, we are just going to start out by jogging a bit on the spot. So moving up and jogging, opening up a little bit between our legs and shoulders back. Getting into a center position again, moving one leg at the time up. So keeping that chest up and that chin in for the perfect alignment. Wanted to build our body up, not breaking it down. Even though we are breaking a little bit down, we're using our body for this kind of exercises because we are tearing a little bit of the muscle fiber, but then you are gonna recover tomorrow and you will get yourself stronger. So work days and recovery days. Going twice on each leg, lifting up twice. Moving arms to get our heart rate a bit higher. Lifting up and engaging your pelvic floor and your core area. No flexion in your lower back when you do this exercise. We're gonna put it over and turn it over and twisting. If this is a little bit too much, you might wanna go with the double leg as shown before. Moving arms from one side to the other one, jumping, feeling like a ninja or kind of a warrior. Now keep that thumb straight in your mouth because we're gonna move it back. So back and center, back and center. If this is too much, you can go with double leg, double leg, moving up. So when I show the modification and you're all set with the other exercise, you just gotta keep going even though I make another exercise. Moving arms backwards, front. Two on each leg, last time. Moving it back and to center. One, uh, legs forward, doing a little bit of the jumping. Forward and back. Four, three, two, and alternative to the other leg. Yep, and I'm just gonna show you from the other angle. Moving forward, and we are gonna go eight and seven, engaging your core muscle. Maybe you wanna go down here. Four, three for a little bit less of drum jumping. Two, and getting in heel, and doing a lower jacks. Or you maybe you don't wanna do any jumping, then you just go ahead and do that. Lifting up, moving arms up and down, and bring that leg up and back. Squeezing and pushing away. Chin in, chest up. I could make a song with that theme. Pressing, pushing right out to the side. And kicking forward, bringing arms forward. Or maybe you wanna go here, keeping that heel down and a little bit less of a jumping. Keep kicking and we're gonna bring our arms up and down. Staying focused, heart keep going here. Moving those arms up, opening in our shoulder joints. And four, and three, and two, 
and hands on your hips moving back wakening up a glute muscle or maybe you want to go down here with a little less of a jump while you have your hands here you might as well feel that you have engaged your core area of course you have i know i can count on you squeezing feeling that glute area kicking in shoulders back looking nice and proud squeezing squeezing lifting up for another eight and seven inhale exhale go for another four and three and two and the last one on each bring that knee up and out opening your hip and maybe you've been sitting all day good for you you're here and bring it up and moving out you might say a little bit of a sound as long as it doesn't hurt it doesn't matter bring that leg in a in a circle here bring it in twisting keeping that alignment a few more to go on each and then we are ready to set off reaching up inhaling chin in chest all the way down getting a little bit of a nice dynamic stretch stretch in the back of your body reaching down and reaching up yep one more to go chin in all the way down and reaching up bring those arms forward energy in focus in this is your time of day where you are focusing in being a better even better you inhale new energy and exhale and bring those arms out shake those legs out maybe you want to grab a bit of water and then we are ready for the first exercise so the first exercise we are going to go for a high knee we are going to bring our arms up high knees coming up bringing one arm down all the way you can go up here instead doing a little bit less jumping working for the 45 seconds and 15 seconds for the next exercise and that will be a strengthening exercise yep ready to go so knees up arms up and leaning back a little bit so moving arms up and down inhale and exhale squeezing up get those knees going or you can do the modification instead you can do a little bit of each of course keeping that chin in and chest up strengthening exercise coming up right after this one slowly moving those arms and pulling it down and up eight seconds bringing it down keep those knees up ready for a diamond push-up so form a diamond here it's getting into a straight line putting that heart down in that little area of your fingers so straight line all the way down pushing up yep or maybe you want to go down on your toes putting those knees down pushing up or maybe you just want to keep going standing on your knees instead of your toes it is always most important thing is of course the quality so if you feel like slacking struggling getting up it's always the up part which is most difficult then go on your knees squeezing your abs seven seconds chin in moving upwards and back up again ready for the high knee so exercise number one second time arms up ready to bring those knees up and two and we are getting knees up and back to center keep going or maybe you want to go up and bring that arm down you can even do 10 seconds of each keeping that chin in strengthening exercise in form of a diamond push-up 
right after this a second time before we move on to the two next exercises bring it down and up squeezing four seconds inhale and exhale second time of our diamond push-up and then we're moving on it's a good thing to do the repetition when you get all into the exercise bringing it down up again putting your heart down to that little box formed by your fingers so squeezing pushing off you can do a little bit of a distance between your legs it's a bit easier take care of your lower back squeezing don't move faster than you can feel it and keep the quality 12 seconds going down pushing off ah, four seconds very good so that was the second time of that one we are going to go jacks for two and two jump squat back to the opposite side third exercise first round thumbs up 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 two jump squat and lifting lifting keep going if possible or if you need a modification go here two on each leg and do a lifting here three or four whatever fits the best so what i'm saying is just do something that makes you shorter breath all depending on your exercise level if easy peasy jump higher go further down 10 seconds moving up going down not mentally but with our buttocks and up very good lying down lifting legs up arms out to the side lifting and engaging our core muscle giving yourself a nice little clap underneath our lifted leg do remember not lifting with our head but lifting with our ab area try not to let your abs puff out keep the stability for the good work or else you can do a modification pushing it up keep going it is always as good as possible to do the exercise that i showed you the first if slacking up the quality do the other one but do it as close as possible for the original exercise then by time you will get strong fit and feisty and be able to do the session doing no modification and you will think back and say to yourself i did the modification once but now i'm stronger and i can do the full 45 seconds it's a journey starting at one point getting wiser and better doing time jacks to the side and up we go staying lifting up good distance between your legs jumping higher going lower and have you forgotten the modification you're gonna work here lifting up and the squatting squeezing do remember a strengthening exercise coming up not that i'm trying to convince you that you don't feel any heart beating or doing the strengthening exercise but a little bit less than the pulse focused exercise yep sitting down lifting up clapping underneath lifted legs four seconds keep those legs up moving upper body up and down can i hear a little clap maybe two up oh, and controlled down if you're done with this session and you feel more so in your neck than in your abs then you should try to look after that 
thing about not lifting with your neck. Keep that chin in. Imagine you have a little ball underneath your chin, pressed against your chest, keeping that alignment. 10 seconds, pushing it and pulling it. Very good. Going into the next two exercises. Standing here, knees up, out, kick up, front and again. So a little bit of a distance between our legs and start by bringing legs up, down, donkey kick, front. So some agility training here as well. I told you this is a full body session. Taking all different kind of things into consideration. Up we go, out, kicking in. Or maybe you just want to go here if you get a little bit dizzy, jumping up and down. Of course you can do that. Up, 10 seconds. Squeezing. Yips. Plank position, down on our knees, no, on our toes, lifting up, two, in, two, alternative leg. Yes, right leg up, hip extension, moving up, and the other leg. So here we're working full core area with some glute work and oblique work pushing it up or maybe you want to do it on your knees go up for two bring it in and of course you can combine those two squeezing 15 seconds keep that plank alignment no pointing with your toe or your buttocks in and in very good. Back to the first exercise, knees up and jump down, feet up for a donkey kick, squeezing your air berry. <sighs> Hopefully you feel the sweat on your forehead. <sighs> Bring it back up front. <sighs> Squeezing. <sighs> up with those knees. Keep going, getting further and further to the timer. <laughs> yep, a lot of stuff is happening when you are all focusing on getting shorter breath. <sighs> Squeezing. <sighs> 10 seconds. <sighs> Five. One more. <sighs> yep. Plank position. Hip extension for two, Spider-Man for two. Alternative between right and left. Leg. Three, two, one. Up we go. Bring that knee in. And what is happening with that butt? Is it pointing up or you're staying in that nice alignment? Of course you do. Squeezing and engaging your muscle, relaxing your head. Maybe you wanted to put two hands on top of each other for a bit of support for that head. 10 seconds. Up we go. Lifting and bring that knee in and back to center. Good. Next exercise, we're going to do a knee jump up for two, staying back, jump lunges, jump lunges, alternative, knee up, knee up, staying back, right leg back, moving that knee up and up, staying back, two jump lunges and alternative, lifting up, lifting up, staying back, jump lunges, jump lunges, changing, lifting, up we go and changing up 
pushing it up. Staying in the jump lunges for two and changing. 10 seconds, up we go. Leak arm out on each leg, lifting, lifting, very good. So now about to get guillotine, two up, sitting up two, two, rolling over, back extension, back again. Yep, kind of fun, up we go for two. Staying up high, rolling over, lifting up to a back extension, squeeze and try not to touch the ground with your feet, with your legs. Up for two. So using those core muscles to get yourself rolling around. Up, squeezing. Ah, kind of fun, rolling around like a kid. This is what makes us happy and healthy till the end of time. Yep, going for the knee up, second time. And two knee up and two jump lunges and to the other leg. Get yourself ready here in the rest period. Bring that knee up, bring stay back. Jump lunges and changing, lifting up. Jump lunges using your arms. Get on a bit of a jump each time, or else you maybe want to go for two and do two jump lunges alternative. Lots of possibilities. Do what it takes to get shorter breath. 15 seconds. 10 seconds, changing, lifting up, lifting up, back to center, lying down, and up for two, rolling over, keeping that chest, oh no, I've got chin in, up, two, straight line, Rolling over, lifting, engaging your muscle between your shoulder blades, doing the retraction, and try to get yourself up. As we're turning around, get yourself up, feeling the muscle along your spine, your glute muscle, of course, because you keep those legs up the whole time doing this exercise. Rest period in just 12 seconds. We have a bit of water before we hit it for the first, third and final round. Up we go for two. Yes, well done. Get some water. And we are ready for the third and final round. Yep, I'm still here, just leaving my water. I bet you did the best so far. So one, third and final round, and then you're done, you crossed it. So one exercise after each other, eight exercises, approximately eight minutes, and then we are booyah, done. Relaxing those feet, and if you've forgotten, I will remind you, first exercise, high knees pulling down. And make sure to keep the Exercise, even though I show you modification. Counting down, 10 seconds, and our third and final round. Shoulders back, engaging your core muscle. No surprise, and get those knees up. So what you should be thinking by now, keep going, is that we're only going to do this once. So that means we're just going to put that intensity a little bit extra in, because when you're done with this one, you have only seven exercises left. So what's not to like? Pulling it down, bring that arm up, keeping your chin in. I do the modification, pulling down a little bit less, stressing on your knees and on your pelvic floor. Oh, we 
always good to be to the bathroom before you do any kind of high intensity exercises. Just makes it so more, much more easier and comfortable. Diamond push up. Form your fingers. Straight line. Only one round if you just forgot. I've forgotten. And bring that chest down, pushing it up. Or go for the modification, knees in, pushing it up. So typically what happens when you get tired is that when you are pushing up where the hardest part is, you do a hyper extension in lower back. No, 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 no good. So keep that good alignment and do the modification. <sighs> Only one time, pushing off. Ready to get up on our feet in just a few seconds. <sighs> Pushing. Inhale. Exhale. Five seconds. Yep, we can do it. Pushing it off and down. Up for the jacks. Jacks to the side and two jump squat at the side. I'll do the modification with one heel in. <sighs> Only once, I tell you only once. Ups, arms up. Keep the distance between your legs while you do the jump squat. A lot easier to go down in those legs. Bring those knees in and out. Let's go. Let's get through this third and final round. Inhale and exhale. Yep, just get that clap going. Keeping legs up. Five seconds, three, two, and we are going for the low knee jump up, pushing it out, kick up. Do remember your legs are working, not your lower back. Bring it up, down, keeping it up. Squeezing, moving. those legs. Exercises to go. Bring it up. Keep going. Do it for. 
from your knees. Five seconds. Up. Very good. So knees up for two. Transform it into a jump lunges for two. And alternative to your opposite leg. So moving those arms up, staying back, jump lunges, jump lunges, alternative. This is actually our last pulse exercise. Bringing it up. Two, change. Yep, we can do it because we only have, keep going, one final exercise. That's a fun one where we are moving up and rolling around. So, of course, we're just gonna hit it off for the last few seconds. Two, two, and bring it up, bring it up. Two, two, lying down. Up for two, roll over. Absolutely. Third and final round, last exercise. Looking down. Keeping that strength in your body. Almost there. Keep it going. Or maybe you just want to stay on your stomach doing the back extension. Just because we have been using our abs for some of the other exercises. And it could be nice doing a little bit for your back. Here we are. Beautiful. Water. Always a good way of ending up. So for the stretching part, I will put a link on top and below. Always a good thing. Just as a minimum, stretching out those chest muscle, hamstring muscle and thigh muscle. Thank you for joining me. Hope you got a lot of out of this content. And if so, please consider subscribing. Then I will send sunshine and love to you in return. I'll do that anyways. But it always makes one happy when you get another subscription. Please give it a like and uh, stay healthy, happy and enjoy life. And most important, Besides, of course, staying happy, stay strong. Take good care. I will see you soon. Goodbye.